Few companies across the world have recorded the level of success that Elon Musk's SpaceX has had since it emerged on the scene in 2002. And I'm not just talking about finances. Well, there is that, since SpaceX is one of the top three most valued private companies in the world. Besides the finances, there is groundbreaking stuff like reusable rockets, at least 100 launches into orbit, including a Tesla Roadster, and the first NASA human spacecraft systems in history, among other things. For SpaceX to keep accomplishing feat after feat over the years, it must have been an environment where ideas and plans are generated, refined, and implemented. That environment is SpaceX's headquarters, and the word insane doesn't even quite capture what I saw there. Keep watching the rest of the video to find out what makes SpaceX's headquarters insane. The SpaceX Story If you are familiar with the space exploration industry, you'd agree with me that SpaceX has effectively disrupted the industry, and this won't be stopping anytime soon. It is now worth over $100 billion and has become the major supplier of spacecraft to the United States government, besides providing stiff competition to the Russian government when it comes to the production of space rocket engines. But did you know that SpaceX started because of Elon Musk's dream of establishing an oasis on Mars that could support a community of humans like you and I? At the time this dream was conceived, rockets were awfully expensive, and so Musk was in the market for affordable rockets. But since he couldn't find any, he decided to make his own. Typical of Musk, if you ask me. To do this, he hired a team of engineers to build these rockets, and the company first set up in a rented office in a warehouse somewhere in California on the 6th of May 2002. SpaceX would outgrow its humble beginnings and growing pains to become a leader in the space industry, with a team of at least 95 elite engineers and lots of rocket scientists and other brainiacs who are helping SpaceX blaze trails in the industry. Ten years down the line, the SpaceX headquarters has evolved into a striking three three-story facility that is arguably one of the most awesome facilities on the space exploration landscape. But enough with the history lesson, let's take a tour. Inside SpaceX Headquarters The SpaceX Headquarters is located in Hawthorne, California, and it sits on 500,000 square feet of space. What was once a manufacturing site for Boeing 747 fuselages is now a multi-million dollar hub for the design, creation, and testing of a huge number of the parts of SpaceX's spacecraft that are currently redefining the space industry. This humongous edifice is home to SpaceX's office Mission Control Center, the Falcon 9 Manufacturing Factory, and its unique workspaces. But before we continue with the rest of the video, here's a quick fun fact. There is actually a second one later on in the video. Did you know that SpaceX's rocket manufacturing factory can build a Starship rocket in only 72 hours? Now, while you digest that fact, let's check out some fun places at SpaceX's headquarters. The Mission Control Center The Mission Control Center, let's call it MCC, is like a NASA control room and could easily fit into any blockbuster sci-fi that you can think about. The only difference is that it is real life. You'd find the same banks of computers and the same geeky-looking guys behind them trying to figure out one thing or the other, just just like in the movies. The MCC controls SpaceX's launches, right from a few minutes before liftoff into orbit to several minutes after launch in space. So naturally, there are a lot of SpaceX employees milling around the MCC, looking out of the MCC's windows during the launch. The guys behind the monitors of the banks of computers in the MCC are actually monitoring software that's used to facilitate the communication with the spacecraft being launched into space. There is no one screaming into a loudspeaker or frantically running from one computer to the next. Rather, everyone goes about their duties in a calm and relaxed way, even when things may not be going according to plan. There's also an entire section of the Mission Control Center that is completely covered in glass. That's where the SpaceX employees gather to watch the fruits of their labors, the successful launch of SpaceX rockets. The Rocket Factory One thing that is hard to miss here is the giant conveyor belt that conveys the verified components that are used in building rockets. The engineers just pick them off the belt and put them together to make the rockets. The other thing you'd notice in this section of the SpaceX headquarters is an open floor space that serves as the cafeteria for the employees at the headquarters. This is the area where 80% of the components of SpaceX's rockets are built. So it is common to see technicians and engineers working hard at building combustion chambers, 
capsules, or the bottoms of the rocket engines. But there's more to the rocket factory area. Have you ever seen Iron Man 2? If you have, then you probably saw Musk's cameo in one of the scenes in the movie. But could you have guessed that this area of the SpaceX headquarters was the location for that scene in the movie? Well, it was. Why do you think there's an autographed model of the Iron Man costume right in the middle of the factory space? The rocket factory section of the headquarters also houses subsections, like the precision control area. This is where all inspections on the SpaceX space vehicles are conducted. You see different metals and materials expand and contract at different temperatures, so this area is constantly kept at 68 degrees centigrade. That way, these materials and metals are stable enough for the precision tests to be run. These precision tests are run by robots and tools that conduct the minutest inspection of the parts that are used for building spacecraft. The precision tests are also painstakingly done so that each component works the way it is expected to. The Shake Room The Shake Room is located inside the rocket factory and is where space travel is simulated to further test the manufactured components. How is this done? Well, enormous vibrations and acoustic loads are generated to find out how well the components would cope when launched into orbit. Naturally, a lot of the components don't make it past this room, but those components that do are ready for the next stage of testing, the stress testing facility. This is where the next stage of the testing occurs. Those components that made it through the shake room are put in different environments. The idea is to check how well they perform in extreme situations similar to what it obtains in orbit. There is also a lot of software testing done here by software engineers. These engineers run multiple AI simulations so that they could try to predict all the possible outcomes of a space vehicle's launch into orbit. The Workspaces SpaceX has a unique approach to workspaces that are based on Musk's belief in transparent workspaces that don't need doors. The rocket scientists work in an open space workspace system that is made up of common workbenches and glass partitioned rooms. The engineers work in a cubicle layout that's a few meters from the areas where technicians work on rocket engines and other parts. So, in essence, it's an open area where everyone works together and can seamlessly collaborate without having to deal with private offices and the obstacles of bureaucracy. The only exception might be when there are meetings with investors or clients. These meetings are held in conference rooms behind glass doors that turn opaque as soon as the meetings commence. You've probably heard stories of Elon Musk working so late that he had to sleep at his office, right? Well, let's check out where Elon Musk does all of his hard work for SpaceX. If you know anything about Elon Musk, then you wouldn't be surprised by what I found out. Just as expected, Musk doesn't have the imposing office that most big company execs seem to prefer. Rather, Musk's office is the whole of SpaceX's headquarters. Instead of being locked up in a sprawling space with lots of expensive furniture and interior decor and high-end stuff, Musk spends most of his working hours in the factory, getting up to speed on the latest developments on his multiple projects. Whatever time he has left is spent working on his computer in common areas just like everyone else. So what do you think about SpaceX's headquarters? Would you love to take a tour too? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.